Good morning, family. Welcome back. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Before we get started, let's open up in a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just come to you right now thanking you for this opportunity, Lord God, to share your word with your people, Lord God. I just pray right now something that is heard is of an encouragement, Lord God. Uh, as we remember, Lord God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. I thank you, Lord God, for your foresight, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, for the uh, the blessing that you bestowed upon us, the free gift that was given for us. Lord God, I give you the glory and the honor because you deserve it. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. Again, welcome, welcome. We're on day three. Our scripture is coming from John 19, 26 through 27. Let's dive right in. I'm reading from the NIV version. And it says, When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciples whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son. And the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his house. Our devotional reading this morning says, uh, Jesus and Mary are together again at the beginning of his ministry in Cana and now at the end of his public ministry at the foot of the cross. John is the only evangelist to record our Lord's mother Mary at the cross. What sorrow must fill Mary's heart? How she must have felt meeting her son as he carried the cross. And then she had to watch him being nailed to the cross. Once again, a sword pierced Mary's soul. The loved ones of Jesus are with him in John's gospel. There are four at the foot of the cross. Mary, his mother, John, the disciple whom he loved, his mother's sister Mary, and Mary Magdalene. He addressed this third word to his mother. Mary and John, the only eyewitness of the Gospels writings. Jesus again rises above the occasion as he cares for the one that loved him. <clears throat> the good son that he is, Jesus is concerned about looking after his mother. So at the time of his death, not only did Jesus care about other people, but he took interest in the well-being of his mother <clears throat> and what uh, who was going to take care of her once he was gone our Lord and Savior cared and I think that that is something for us to reflect on on today is those that we care about my mom is still living and I thank God for that and I care for her um, I take time out for her um, and to talk to her each and every day. And I know many of us are grateful for the mothers that God blessed us with. And I think that uh, if nothing else, we can take note again from our Savior and how he <clears throat> cared for his mother is the same way that we should care for not only our mothers, but everyone. Again, in this trying time that we're going through right now, everyone needs uh, there are so many people out here that are looking for folks to help them out and anything that you can do physically, um, emotionally, financially that you can do to help them out. They it would be greatly appreciated. So some people just want you to pick up the phone and call them uh, just to check in on them to see how they're doing. I thank God for our church. We are providing meals for uh, some of our members and that, that uh, to offset the cost. And I thank God for that. Um, so if you're not doing anything, step in and do something. Just reach out to someone. Uh, do what Jesus would do. Remember back in the day they had that WWJD, what would Jesus do? Well, think about that. What would Jesus do? Then you do it. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, tomorrow we'll be at day four. We're going to keep on trekking along, and I pray that you trek along with me. I thank you again. We're going to close out in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you. Lord God, thank you again for your word. Thank you for Jesus. Lord God, the suffering that he endured, Lord God, for our sins. I can only imagine. I can't even fathom it. But Father God, I thank you, Lord God, for for everything that you had to do, Lord God, for me to experience your freedom, Lord God. And I give you the glory for it. I thank you again 
for everything that you have done for me and for all of us. I thank you for what you're doing right now, Lord God. We know spiritually you're working everything out, Lord God. And at the end, Lord God, we thank you for what you're going to do. Father God, you are a good, good God. Lord God, that's who you are. And we thank you for being just who you are. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we praise your name. We give you the glory and the honor that you deserve. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys have a blessed rest of your day. Love you. Bye.